Welcome to Mailbag Monday once again. Today, assisted by Firehouse Ale, an English nut brown ale from Lake of the Woods Brewing Company in Kenora, Ontario. Okay, the first thing in calls itself PC Housing. Prepared as always. Let's see what we got here. Some kind of connector housings. Oh, looks like oh, USB connectors. Where are you? You are these ones. USB B, I think. Oh, that's. No, that's not. Ah, what am I saying, USB B? That's uh, mini micro. That's what that one is. Where's. There's something that fits that. Yeah. That's that guy there. Okay. And we have two pins. So we have two pins on that side and three pins on there. I'm assuming those two are going to be power and those three are going to be D plus D minus and the one that's offset to the side. Shield ground or maybe a sense, something like that. Not sure. Hmm, how do I figure that out? Maybe the listing will tell me. New 10 pieces DIY micro USB 5 pin male cable, no, male connector, port soldering, plug plastic cover from Nice Seller 77. Um, they're currently selling for 99 American or dollar 33 Canadian. I got these at auction for 91 cents Canadian. Yeah, yeah a couple of penny savings, whatever. Um, free shipping, yeah, of course. And what does it say here? Uh, just all standard things. Doesn't say the pin out. I'll have to go and look up the pin out, I guess. Or actually, I could probably figure it out. Okay, so I've got these little breakout boards that are the female side of this thing uh, from a previous mailbag some time ago. So I should be able to just figure out which one is which, shouldn't I? There's the ground. Yeah. There's the ground. So that's D plus and D minus on this side, which means uh, ground was that one. So ground is that, and power, I believe, was that side, which is that one. So the one in the middle, not sure what it is. Huh? What do you got there? Oh, IO is the next one over. Okay. Nope. So that is one of the data lines, which means IO is going to be one of those. And D minus is that one. Okay, that wasn't that hard to figure out after all. That really is a nice ale. Uh, what do we have here? We have um, that, okay. Labeled in Chinese, I don't do Chinese. Oh, some chips and a thing. A couple of chips and a module. wonder if they are the same thing. You are... PCF 8574P and the module in the bag oh it's a different looking chip anyway but it's the same chip just a different version PCF 8574 oh T I'm assuming that just differentiates the two package styles two pieces PCF 8574P etc dip 16 uh, NXP PHI Remote 8-Bit I.O. Expander IC. Ah, from DIY Box. Two of them for $1.33. Shipping? No, I didn't pay shipping. At least not when I ordered it anyways. And also from DIY Box, uh, in the part number PCF 8574T, uh, I2C 8-Bit I.O. GPIO Expander Module for Arduino and Raspberry Pi. Uh, this one is $1.65, and it's not saying it's got shipping, which is good, because it didn't. And there's another one, which is a bit more expensive, which looks like you can just daisy-chain the I2C on it. The red one that I got is just goes off one end. Okay. What do we got here? This is the IO Extend module, I2C interface, blah, blah, blah. Support cascading, you can use most eight modules to extend 64 IO lines at the same time. Can set the address by toggle switch, yeah. Okay, 
Let's see if we can play with this thing quickly. So the four connections on this thing, VCC, ground, SDA, SCL, serial data, serial clock, power and ground. And then there's these connections over here, P0 through P7 and INT, which I assume is an interrupt. Okay, I didn't know this thing could cause an interrupt. That's interesting. First thing I probably should do is just find out what the address of this thing is. So it's got a three, or a three uh, position binary switch here for selecting the address. So it looks like there's a base address and then um, seven variants. Total of seven variants. The base address, uh, which is probably set there now with it all zeros. And then one above it. Three above it. Seven above it. So here's a basic I2C scanner program, just called I2C Detect. Um, I can't even remember where I got this thing, but it comes in real handy. It just scans through the uh, these address ranges and throws it out to the serial monitor. So I'll load that up and fire up serial monitor here. So there we go. There's the base address, uh, two zero hex. I'll flip that first bit, and there we go. Yeah, twenty one. Uh, binary 010, zero, zero, should be 22, yeah. I'll flip the low bit again to 23. And I'll just flip all of them. I'll just flip all of them on, and there we go to 27. So our possibilities are binary, or our address is 020 up to 027. I've got just a basic thing happening in here. Um, let me just... So the first LED blinks once, second LED blinks twice, third one blinks three times. And I could do that with up to eight of them, but I'm just frustrated because I suck at code. Anyway, um, that, proved, that shows me that it works, which is all I need for right now. So let's get back to the mailbag. What do we have here? We have a thing written in Chinese. Am I focused? I'm all out of sorts after that last one. Okay, what do we got here? Looks like an expansion board module. Oh, this is another little nano. Oh, oh, I thought this was a nano expansion board, but no. This is a nano that comes with screw terminals. So it's a combination of a nano and a screw shield all in one handy dandy little package. So rather than taking a nano and stacking it on top of a screw shield like that plunk and then you have I just realized I was I screwed up when I built this this shield oh what a dummy do you see it can you see it now what an idiot anyway um I digress. Uh, so instead of having this little screw shield and a nano, this is all in one of the same thing. We have an AT Mega 328P as expected, and we have a CH340 as expected doing the USB duties. We have a regulator up there, good old 1777 or 1117 rather, reset button, everything you expect in a nano. New AT Mega 328P Nano 3.0 CH340 USB Terminal Driver Adapter Extension Board 2-in-1. I got this from World Chips, and I got it at auction for $4.02 with free shipping. Currently, they're selling it for $5.04 Canadian, also with free shipping. Yay! What is this thing? This thing is resistors, it says. Okay. We'll just see about that. Piece of paper. Well, there are resistors. Hmm. It's a kit. Oh, boy. I'm going to have to do start doing a bunch of dedicated kit build videos. Maybe I'll do like a David Watts Lazy Sunday kit build or something. So what's this kit that doesn't have instructions? It's a bag of LEDs. Always a good start. There is a USB type power cord. There are resistors. Okay, it wasn't completely lying. We have a chip with socket. Nice. 
It is an STC 15F204EA. Probably some sort of a pre-programmed microcontroller, I'm guessing. And we have a circuit board and some hardware. Wow. That's a nice thick circuit board. That's the heavy fiberglass stuff, the uh, the good stuff, not the cheap Fenelic. Um, what do you got here? Whole whack of LEDs. Yay, fairly. 50? Cool. These LEDs are all... They look like they're all multiplexed in different configurations. So this guy is going to be sending some lines high and some lines low to get those 50 LEDs to uh, stand up and dance. Well, that should be fun. A fair bit of soldering, but nothing too complex. Uh, plated through holes, double-sided board. All of the resistors are 1K, so that's easy. Oh, there's a little uh, ICSP socket right there. Or data or something. Um, it's just got a plus minus and a TX and an RX. So it's you can program it. Should you happen to be aware of how to program STC's uh, 15F20 or 204. That ain't me. But somebody could, I suppose. Need your own weld. Five-pointed star water lights pattern LED lights DIY kit. From Electronic DIY Honest. I don't think I've ever bought from this guy before. Uh, cost me four dollars and three cents, or three dollars American. Free shipping, of course. Oh, there we go. Nice little animated GIF of what it does. Those are multicolor LEDs. Wow, that's cool. Um, anyway, so all the LEDs in this handy schematic. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's fifty of them. So we have pair, each pair has a connection and then there's one, two, you know, row and columns basically. Okay. But not really row and columns because they're not physically aligned that way. But that's uh, kind of how it's set up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. So it's uh, okay, pretty straightforward. All the magic is of course happening in software, but the fun part's the hardware and that's what I'm interested in. That should be a fun one to build. And finally, we have another thing that doesn't say anything about what it is in English. It's completely Chinese on the label. Fair enough. Oh. Come on, get out. It's another one of these. Huh, okay. I guess we don't have to go into exploration too much on this one. Well, let's see where I got that one then. 18 mega 328p nano 3.0 ch34. Well, uh, we've already heard this. This is kind of a redux. Uh, this particular one came from CZB 6721960. Um, it was five bucks, or 504 Canadian, 375 American, free shipping. And it seems that I bought it. The day before, I won the auction on the other one for a buck less. Oh, well, I guess I was just impatient, or I guess I, maybe I didn't think I would actually win that auction. But it looks like there's several other places that are selling the same thing, too. And, of course, standard nanos. Um, but it's not that much more than a standard nano. Yeah. Especially the one that I got at auction, it was only 50 cents more. Well, that was another fun time opening the mail. Got a good assortment of stuff. A fun kit to play with. I think it's going to be a fun kit. Uh, let's quickly go through these. The, this uh, star soldering kit took 21 days. These two nano uh, with built-in screw shield. One of them took five and a half weeks and the other one took five weeks. Yeah, not too bad. These USB here, they took exactly one month. And uh, the, yeah, you use little USB connectors. You know what they are. Uh, and then these IO expansion uh, units here, the, both the chip and the board version of them, they took 20 days to get here. And I think that makes them the winner by one day. Nice. 
Well, I would like to thank you once again for stopping by to see what I'm up to. Um, thanks to my Patreons, as always, for helping to support my habits. Uh, if you want to join them over at Patreon, they get to see all the videos a couple of days early. Everyone else, thank you, as always, for watching. Talk to you later.